A venturi meter is a meter that can be used to measure the flow speed of a fluid in a pipe. The meter is shown here in red. It is connected between two sections of a pipe. The diameter of the entrance and exit of the meter matches the pipe's diameter. In between the entrance and the exit, there is a constricted section with smaller diameter. For this particular problem, I have air flowing in the pipe, and I'm using this venturi meter to measure the flow speed V1 in the pipe. The U-shaped tube of the venturi meter is partially filled with water. Because of the air flows through the top portion of the meter, the water level on the two sides of the U-shaped tube are not equal. Water level should be higher on which side? I'm going to use 1 for this side, 2 for that side. The water level should be higher on the 2 side. So the water level should look kind of like this. The water level is higher on the number 2 side because the equation of continuity says that A1V1 equals to A2V2 for this smooth flow. Since A2 is smaller, that means V2 must be faster. And according to Bernoulli's principle, the faster flow has a lower pressure. So P1 must be higher than P2. This means that when the water is balanced, the pressure is the same on the two sides here and there. The pressure over here is the pressure from top here, P1. The pressure over here is the pressure from the surface, which is P2. And so pressure here and there are equal, means P1 equals to P2 plus the rho GH of this water column. So the water column must be taller on the two side, so P1 equals to P2 plus rho GH, because P2 is smaller than P1, so the rho GH has to be on the number two side. Or you can just think that this higher pressure pushes the water column down lower. Suppose that the diameter of the pipe is 1 centimeter. The diameter of the constriction is 0.5 centimeters. The water column on the right side is 5 centimeters taller than the left side. The density of the flowing air is 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. Find the speed V1. This is a flowing fluid problem, so I'm going to use the Bernoulli's equation. This is my 1, this is the 2, and uh, since 1 and 2 are at the same height, y1 and y2 are equal, so I can cancel these two terms. And let's see, at 1, the pressure is P1, we don't know. At 1, we have air, 1.29 is the density times uh, V1, which we do not know either, and we're looking for V1. And then on the number 2 side, I have P2 plus 1 half density times V2 squared. We don't know V2 either. Here I have four things I don't know. P1, V1, P2, V2. Even though I don't know P1 and P2, but I do know that P1 is P2 plus rho GH, which means that I can replace P1 with P2 plus rho GH. And then I will be able to cancel the P2 on the both sides. So P1 is P2 plus the rho GH. Now this is the rho GH of this water column. So the density over here has to be the density of water, which is 1,000. And I'm just going to use 10 for G, and the height of the water column is 5 centimeters. I have to change it to 0 0.05 meters. So this is the rest of it. And uh, on the other side, I have P2 plus 1 half 1.29 V2 squared. So P2 now cancels. But I still have just one equation, two unknowns, V1 and V2. That means uh, I need one more equation to be able to find V1. That one more equation that can relate V1 and V2 is right here, the equation of continuity. Now the diameter 
of the two sides is one centimeter and the 0.5 centimeters, which means that the diameter is two to one. That means the radius on the two sides, half of the one centimeter and the half of the 0.5 centimeters, it's still two to one. And that means the area, which is pi r squared, will be proportional to r squared, and that will be four to one. Which means I can just use the ratio to plug in here. Of course, you can also choose to plug in pi half d squared for area. But I'm just going to use the ratio. So if a1 is four, then a2 would be one, which means uh, I can replace V2 with uh, four times the V1. Then I can reduce the number of unknowns in this equation from two to one. So this term is going to become 500. And then I'm going to move this one over to the other side. And this term is going to become 1 half times 1.29 V2 squared. And I'm going to use uh, four times the v1 for v2 and uh, minus when i move this one over to the other side it will be minus one half times 1.29 times v1 squared so i get 500 equals to one half times 1.29 times four squared minus one so i'm going to get uh, 15 v1 squared and then i'll be able to find v1 squared to be 51.7 and the V1 would be 7.19 meters per second. So that's the flow speed in the pipe. Here I have a Venturi meter. The tubes down here are partially filled with colored water. I will use a compressor to blow air into the top portion of the meter. As you can see, the water level is indeed higher at the constriction. That's not all. Although the diameter is the same for these two sections, water level is higher near the exit than the entrance. Why do you think this happens? Remember that we use the conservation of energy to derive the Bernoulli's equation? Because the real flow of air does lose mechanical energy due to viscosity of air, friction between air and tubing, and the turbulence, etc., there is mechanical energy being lost to heat. So these terms, these energy per volume terms, would decrease as the fluid flows. Therefore, the two same diameter segments with the same flow speed and the same height would have different pressure and the pressure is lower near the exit than the part near the entrance. To use a Venturi meter to measure the flow speed of a liquid in a pipe, we just have to flip the meter upside down, with or without the top part. The flowing liquid down here can send the liquid up these tubes. Do you think the liquid level would be higher or lower on the side with the constriction compared to the side without the constriction? it would be lower at the constriction because at the constriction, the flow speed is faster, meaning the pressure is lower. The lower pressure doesn't push liquid up as high. Before I show you a demonstration of this, I want to ask you one more question. The Venturi meter I will be using has a third tube coming out of here. If the water flow goes from right to left, which of the two water columns will be taller, one or three? 